By 2.15 p.m., the crowd was chanting in unison, hang Mike Pence, outside the very building he'd been evacuated from with his family. Now, even if President Trump didn't know that his inflammatory remarks about his vice president would result in chants of hang Mike Pence, by 2.15 p.m., he surely knew. The attack was all over television. They were doing this out in the open. This was a vice president whose life whose family's life was being threatened by people whom the president had summoned to the Capitol. And what did President Trump do in response? Did he stop? Did he tell his base, no, don't attack my vice president? Even when President Trump knew what his words were causing, he didn't do any of those things to stop the crowd. In fact, he did the opposite. He fueled the fire. At 2.24 p.m., he tweeted, quote, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution. USA demands the truth. Over an hour and a half into the attack, and this is what he tweeted. And he still, even at this point, did not acknowledge the attack on the Capitol, let alone condemn it. Instead, he further incites the mob against his own vice president, whose life was being threatened. Well, some of you may say, well, who was paying attention anyway? Well, that mob was paying attention. My kids didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution, giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones which they were asked to previously certify. U.S. demands the truth. My kids are The insurgents amplified President Trump's tweet attacking the vice president with a bullhorn. They were paying attention. And they also followed instructions. In fact, the insurgents were at one point, as you saw, 60 feet away from the vice president and the vice president's family. Some of these insurgents were heard saying, quote, that they hope to find Vice President Mike Pence and execute him by hanging him from a Capitol Hill tree as a traitor. And then they erected a gallows with a noose. This is what Donald Trump incited. Please. Take a close look at that picture. It harkens back to our nation's worst history of lynching. A president's words have the power to move people to action. These were the results.